would spend large amounts of time pretending to be various animals. <laughs> um, like wolves and tigers and horses. <laughs> As a child, I didn't really think humans were very interesting. that they were real animals. I thought it was just amazing that myths could be real. And these have all the circular grabbing tentacles in there. Each, each sucker is surrounded by a circular row of teeth that they use for grabbing onto their prey. And I had this light bulb moment of standing in front of it. Wouldn't it be amazing to draw the giant squid, life-size, in fresh squid ink, because that is a poetic way of drawing this animal. And that sparked the, the Sea Monsters series. And that was the series that I was working on when I had my first meeting with Hermes and I thought, I'm not sure I'm the right person for you. I'm not sure it's going to work very well on silk scarves for elegant persons around the globe. With Under the Waves, they wanted an underwater scarf. They didn't say where they wanted it or how they wanted it. And I thought, well, the Great Barrier Reef is threatened, it's vulnerable. I'm constantly trying to highlight endangered species and vulnerable habitats and draw people's attention to the beauty of them. I would like to see my children grow up seeing the species that I have seen. painting natural forms um, and landscape and animals, I'm never trying to copy the animal exactly. But at the end of the day, I've got to create something new. And that's what creation is. So here are the sketches for Zebra Pegasus. given a very loose brief for a design like please do a design with a tiger okay Let's think about the William Blake poem tiger tiger burning bright in the forests of the night what immortal hand or eye could frame thy fearful symmetry this is the 
sketch for Tiger Tiger. And that poem is all about the ferocity of nature, how terrifying it is, how it's the beast in the dark coming to kill you. I wanted to create a response to that poem. So I decided to frame my tiger surrounded by the flowering plants from Ayurvedic medicine. This is the traditional medicine from India and grows in the tiger's habitat. It is our duty to protect the natural world because we are a part of it. And we're only a small part of it, we're tiny.